good afternoon. It has been a while and that's okay. I needed a while, but I am finally feeling better. We need to do a whole recap, I feel like, but I just wanted to start vlogging because we are getting ready to go on our family vacation and we are gonna be going to Disney's Port Orleans Riverside and I requested a room over in the Magnolia Bend area which is like the like more royal area or not the royal area because they do have real rooms but it's like the um I don't know plantation side I think is what they call my, uh, rather than like the bayou side so we are getting ready to go to that but I just wanted to start the vlog here at home because I wanted to give you guys kind of an update on everything that's happening so before we go anywhere before I continue packing any of that I wanted to kind of sit down and just like like I said, give you guys an update with everything that's been happening, everything that's been going on and where I've been. So that's gonna be this vlog. Then we will start the travel and the hotel stay vlogs. <sighs> where to even start? First, let me start off by saying how incredibly thankful I am to have all of you guys supporting me and cheering me on and encouraging me. It really means a lot to have you guys on my side and just kind of like showing me love and sending me messages and commenting on the videos. I really, 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 really appreciate all of your kind words and encouragements. It has honestly helped a lot getting through all of this crap. I haven't vlogged in a couple of weeks because just so much stuff has gone on, but that's kind of why I wanted to vlog now before we go into our vacation vlogs because I wanted to, you know, be transparent as possible and like get you guys up to date because like you have been so much a part of all of my journeys that I've been on and I didn't want to not include you on this one too. So the last vlog that you guys saw, I was wearing my heart monitor that sat in the middle of my chest. I wore that for two weeks and just went over the results with my cardiologist and thank God my heart is healthy. So my heart is not the problem. He said that even whenever my heart rate went high, it was still in like a sinus rhythm. So there's no like miss rhythms or something like that. Um, so there's no issues with my heart. So the heart is not what's going on. Thank you, Jesus, for that, because I was so, so, so worried that something was going on, like, heart-wise. Um, I don't think I've ever mentioned much of my dad, but my dad was born with, like, a problem with his heart and had to have open heart surgery as a baby. Um, but that's not something that was ever a concern for his children because it was something that happened as a baby. And so whenever my heart started having issues and like all these stuff started happening, I immediately thought like, crap, maybe like it's something hereditary, but thank God it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. I'm perfectly healthy. My heart is perfectly healthy. It's not my heart. With that being said, there is something going on internally that is making my rate, my heart rate fasten, like uh, get high. So there will be times, periods of the day where my heart rate will just spike to like 113 and I will just be sitting down, maybe working or just lounging in bed or whatever the case may be. Like I am just completely relaxed and my heart rate will just spike. One of the main things that have been going on I think I talked to you guys about this before is that I had like a stomach virus or something going on with my stomach to where I was not having normal stool if you know what I mean um, and that lasted for like three weeks and I was in and out of the hospital I think I did talk to you guys about this uh, because I was so dehydrated and it was just it was a it was a lot it was a lot this year this year has been a lot so yeah that happened and I think this is the remnants of that. My doctor, my GI doctor had previously said that I have gastritis, which is like an inflammation of the um, intestine linings. So he said that that might be contributing to like what's going on right now because I still might have a lot of inflammation, a lot of, you know, acid buildup. So what he wants to do, I just had a conversation with him today, actually, um, I had a virtual appointment. What he wants to do, because we've confirmed that it's not my heart, he's saying that it sounds like with the symptoms that I'm presenting, it's still a lot of acid buildup. So he has me on a prescription called pantropazole, I think is what it's called. He had me on a lower dosage, but he wants to put me on the higher dosage again. And he wants me to take it in the morning before my first meal and then in the evening before my last meal of the day. And he's saying that hopefully that will, you know, kind of help with all of the stomach acid. Because right now, what I've been having to do, I don't think you're ready for this. What I have been having to do to combat my stomach acid is first in the morning taking the pantropazole, but then every morning after pantropazole, I take a Pepsid, uh, Pepsid Complete, which is the stronger Pepsid. Then around 10 o'clock, 
After I've taken that, I take a probiotic. Then after that, around like 12, one o'clock, whenever I'm eating lunch, I take Tums. <laughs> And then in the evening, before I eat another meal, I take another kind of Tums. This has been my life for like the last three weeks. <laughs> and it's been a lot. It has been a lot. So that's kind of why I haven't been vlogging. I just haven't really felt well. This These past couple of days have been the best that I have felt in a really long time. I think I kind of have my body on a little bit of a schedule to where like I can kind of manage it right now, which is why I think my appetite has come back and my energy has come back and I feel a lot more normal than I've been feeling because these past two weeks I have not felt like myself. I have not had any energy. I have not been you know, like bubbly and me. I've not been me. And it's been it's been a real struggle to try to find find myself again, if that makes sense. Because it's been it's been a lot. I mean you guys see everything that I'm taking on top of a prescription that's supposed to help as well. So it's just been it's just been a lot. But I think hearing that it's not my heart really helped and really let me kind of like relax a lot more. I think that a lot of this has to do with, not a lot of it, but I think some of it has to be anxiety as well because I know I'm struggling with anxiety right now, um, which is not something that I, I don't think I've ever spoken about on my channel, but it's something that's been developing over the past I would say the past year, like even in the car, like if I'm riding with my mom or riding with Manny or whatever, and like a car will be stopping in front of us. If we're not stopping like quick enough for me, I like freak out and I like stop the floor and I'm <gasps> like that. And then immediately afterwards, I'm like, why did I even do that? Like, what the heck is going on with me? So I definitely feel like anxiety is playing a role in this, but I know that it's stemming from something real. I think maybe it's like a little bit of, like I said, PTSD with COVID and stuff. Um, and I hate, you know, to say PTSD, but this year has been filled with a lot of medical trauma that I have not ever experienced in my life. And that's the only thing I can contribute it to because that's the only thing that's been different. I've never had anxiety like this and I see it now. So I talked to my doctor about that and she did list off a few prescriptions that I can take, but she was like, you know, just be aware that these can cause stomach issues if you start a new prescription. And so we both decided that I should probably get everything with my GI taken care of and under control before I start taking any kind of like anti-anxiety medicine. So for now, I am just trying to like get my stomach on the mend, get myself well enough, and then if needed, after all of this is said and done, I will then look into anti-anxiety anti medicine. So yeah, it has been, it's been a struggle. It's been a lot. And I apologize for not vlogging. It's not what I have been wanting to do. Of course, I want to vlog. I want to, you know, I want to get out of bed. But to be honest with you, I've pretty much been living from my bed for the past couple of weeks, which is not fun. Thankfully, thank God, I work from home. I mean, everything is as accommodating as it can be. My coworkers are great. My boss is fantastic. All of my upper management have been nothing but amazing to me. And so I'm very, very grateful for the position that I'm in right now because I have the flexibility to still be able to work or if I need to take time off to go to the doctors, they've just been super, super accommodating. So I can't, I can't thank them enough and like be grateful enough to know that I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be right now. Because if I were working at my old job or anywhere else, that would not be the case. I have never worked for a company that has been so understanding and so accommodating. So I'm extremely, extremely lucky and extremely grateful to have them. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to get you guys caught up. The next couple of days, like I said, my doctor and I just spoke today. So he wants to get me on the pantropozol again for the morning and the evening before my last meal of the day. Sorry, I don't know what's happening with the lighting right now. Just got really funky. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> But I'm having a lot of like gas, having a lot of like reflux. And he said that that all, uh, those are all symptoms of acid in the stomach. So I'm trying not to eat as acidic foods. I'm trying to be careful with like eating beans and asparagus and things that like are good for you, but like make your body, you know, work with the digestion. So I'm trying to be careful. Um, we are leaving on vacation today. We are staying Thursday through Sunday at um, Port Orleans, like I said, Riverside. I'm super, super excited. We're staying in Magnolia Bend. So it's gonna be a fantastic time. I'm, I'm so excited and it's something that we all need and I need for sure. So I'm gonna be taking all my medicines with me. I'm gonna be taking, actually Manny has been amazing because he has been like literally my chef 
for me <laughs> because I have not been able to like physically stand like long time periods, which has been unfortunate, but he has really been amazing because he like cooks lunch and meals and dinners, like obviously for Tristan too, but like specialized meals for me so that he, like he knows obviously what's going on and he tries to just do like white rice and like baked chicken or like something very, very light. And he actually made me four or six meals to go so that we can pack the meals with us. And then I got like a little portable, it's like a portable oven thing that we can take with us so that I can heat up the meals in the room and I don't have to like worry about eating. Disney food is not the greatest. You've got burger, pizza, things like that. So the doctor did say that I need to try to see what I can handle, but at the same time, not overdo it. And I'm gonna be on vacation, so I personally don't wanna be experiencing symptoms like that because it makes my heart rate go up. It makes me feel very, very disgusting. Like I just, I feel, ugh, I just don't feel well whenever I like get that kind of, stomach thing going on. So I'm hoping to prevent it during this um, trip as much as possible. So I'm super grateful that Manny was able to, or not even able to, but that he wanted to cook me food and like bring it with us so that we can make sure that I'll be okay. And it's just really sweet. He's been, he's been amazing. Um, if you guys are not new to the channel, you'll know that Manny has always been such a supportive husband and I'm so grateful for him. Anyway, enough with the mushiness. <laughs> this is just an update video to let you guys know where I'm at, where I've been why I haven't been on and I'm sorry for that, but I have definitely been trying to take care of myself so that I can get back to doing what I like to do. And like my mission has been for the past, God, I feel like it's been months now. I feel like I've been on this journey for just living a normal life <laughs> since 2022 started. But yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to do. That, that's been my goal is just to live a normal life. And I'm still trying to achieve that, but little by little, I can feel it, I'm getting there, it's gonna happen. We've ruled out the heart. Um, I also got a CT scan of my chest because I was still having some chest pains and my doctor wanted to make sure that I didn't have a lung clot, so we got that done. Um, don't have a lung clot, thank God. So everything that I'm doing is showing that like, I am a healthy 30 year old, I don't have any issues going on, I'm not diabetic, I'm not overweight. You know, like I've got no heart issues, like I am healthy. So what's going on right now is seems to be like maybe a virus or a sickness or something's just not settled in my tummy and um, we just gotta get it there and then I will be back to 100% and I cannot wait, thank you Jesus for that day because I know it's coming soon. <sighs> anyway, that is gonna be it for my update but the next couple of vlogs are going to be us at Port, Port Orleans um, Riverside and I'm so excited to be vlogging again and sharing it with you guys. Like I said, this is going to be the new way of my channel. It's just gonna be raw and real and real life and adventures and I hope that you enjoy it because I am really loving sharing everything, even all the personal details. It's, it's like you guys are like my family diary. Like you help me out and you talk to me and get me through it and I just love it. I love the bond that we have. So thank you for being here. Anyway, like I said, that's going to do it for this vlog. I know it's a little bit shorter, but it's just a little catch up. And then the next vlogs that you see me in, I'll probably look exactly the same because I'm going to pick it up right now and uh, start the Port Orleans at Riverside Adventures. So hope you'll stay tuned for those. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Thank you again for all of the love and support. It means the world. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.